Hey, what up guys? It is Jay Wolf here and today I want to talk to you about some real shit. I want to use darkness that has been in my life and turn it into good, turn it into light. And I want to talk about death and motivation and a lot of us wake up in the morning and we feel this sense of, you know, overwhelming anxiety or whatever stress may be coming on from the day and a tactic that's worked well for me has been to do a breathing routine in the morning. As you know, this is the foundation of the Mind Muscle Academy, but in this breathing routine, I like to dig deeper, and when I'm having a really, really hard morning, I'll take it a step farther and think about my death. This is an old samurai technique. Um, this is nothing new, but now there's all the research and the data. The University of Arizona has done multiple studies on athletes showing that instead of trying to psych out their opponents by visualizing their own death, the subconscious boosts self-esteem to help you realize your true potential. So by tapping into death, you're able to elicit your own power and your own strength. So that's really powerful stuff. Um, you know, the samurai say, imagine the most morbid way possible, but just imagine the idea that you're gonna die. It's gonna be a part of life and it's gonna happen to you. It doesn't matter who you are, I don't care how great you are, you are going to die. And if that doesn't motivate you, I don't know what's gonna light a fire under your ass to make you give a shit and get up every day and start pursuing your dreams and thinking that someone else is gonna come and help do this for you. Only by pursuing it with everything you got do you even have the chance of a helper coming along to boost you to the next level. So keep that in mind. Um, now, to dig deeper into this topic in my personal life and just kind of you know, open my truth, my diary, my honest, feelings to you guys as part of what we're doing here of authenticity and vulnerability is the fact that yesterday was Father's Day. Um, I lost my father to suicide about two years ago and not even two years ago, a year and a half ago and um, I've had a lot of support from a lot of good people but of course this is going to be a thought as we're coming around there and then to make matters even weirder, um, I was maybe a month ago at Soundgarden's second to last show and I had this amazing inspired experience I'm like man he just laid it on the line he just wailed he just let his soul bleed so we could feel some real shit out here in the audience and then two days later Chris Cornell one of the best musicians ever killed himself and this just kind of brought back this wave of pain bodies and you know painful emotions from the past and be aware in life use awareness to know when things are setting off these emotional pain bodies that we have stored within so that we can release them guys. So the moral of the story here is that you never know what can happen. Don't judge people uh, based off things that are happening um, with their mental health. Try to show people some grace and at the end of the day guys, stay strong, stay focused, stay committed and just do your best every day no matter what grind. I've been going for 14 hours today before I had time to get to these videos. So it's never going to be time for your dreams to come true. Make time. Make it come true. Command your way to your goals and make it happen. Till next time, Jay Wolf. Peace.